Good morning. Uh, <laughs> oh, good morning, guys. I thought I would break up our normal series with a little episode on money. We will talk about how much money we've made from the vlog, how much money we've spent the past year. But first, I really, really need a cup of coffee. So, the first year that we've been gone, we have spent an average 3,000 US dollars per month that we've been gone. This is way over our budget. Uh, before we left, we researched a lot about how much other families spend, what they spend their money on, and we tried to come up with a budget that would suit us. We decided on 2,300 US dollars a month, that's about 20,000. Swedish crowns. This 2300 has proved to be a bit too low for us, but that is mainly because we've had to do a lot more boat maintenance than we had originally planned for. First of all, we hadn't prepped the boat to go all the way across the Atlantic. We didn't know if we were gonna go across the Atlantic when we left. What we said was that let's go down to Las Palmas, let's see how it goes, and if we get there and we want to still want to cross the Atlantic, we'll sort everything out there. That's why we spent about a month in Las Palmas and we did a, a boatload of boat projects. And included in this 3000 US, it's uh, flying back to Sweden like three or four times. A new outboard engine. There's also some other extraordinary expenses that maybe really shouldn't affect how much our monthly budget has been. So what we did was that we broke our down costs and removed all the extraordinary costs. And then we came down to 2700 US dollars per month. So we're still a bit over budget, but we think it's still within reason since we've had to do a lot more boat maintenance than we originally planned for. We should have some focus. That was a really annoying sound. Right now we're at my dad's house and uh, it's actually the last day so we're just packing up all our stuff and we're gonna go down to the south of Sweden and I'm gonna help build a deck for my sister. Another thing we wanted to do when we were looking at the budget and how much money we've spent was to see how much money did we spend in the Caribbean compared to how much have we spent when we were in Europe. Our monthly average in Europe was 3,100 US dollars. And our monthly average in the Caribbean was 2,200 dollars. And still in the Caribbean we've done quite a bit of boat work and we've done quite a lot of maintenance. We've had some engine problems, problems with mast. All that stuff is coming up in upcoming episodes, but uh, yeah, stay tuned for a lot more boat work to come. We're super happy that we're below budget when we're in the Caribbean, and we think this is mostly because in Europe, uh, you spend quite a bit of time in marinas. Eating out is quite expensive. The only thing is, the only upside is that food in the supermarkets are quite cheap. Marinas and uh, a lot of boat maintenance really adds up. So 3,100 US a month was way too much so yeah well next season we'll be in the caribbean so it'll be good to go in the caribbean we've been anchoring a lot which saves us a huge amount of money uh, food is a bit more expensive but we tend to cook most of our food on the boat uh, boat projects is uh, about the same more or less i mean boat stuff is always expensive so it's more or less the same when we get when you get to the right places so we spent a lot of time in Martinique doing boat maintenance and now in Grenada we're gonna do quite a lot of boat projects as well to get her ready for the next season. We're cruising, we're sailing on an older boat so we have a 37 foot Nyad from 1981. So there is quite a lot of stuff breaking but uh, she's a really sturdy boat so she's quite easy to fix and the the system that's are, that are on her aren't too complicated. So that's a big upside for us because that means we can work on most of our systems ourselves and uh, that saves us a lot of money not to have to call in mechanics. Next stuff is gonna be stuff relating to the vlog. So let's pack up some tools and get ready to go. total we've made $716 from our Patreon page. 
Patreon is a crowdfunding website. So that means that uh, our viewers, you guys, help support us make these videos. So in total we've been paid 0.8 dollars from YouTube. So we don't make any money really from YouTube. But it's our patrons that support us, that help us cover the monthly fees that we have relating to the vlog. So we have fees that are Adobe Premiere Cloud, which is 53 US dollars per month. And we have Epidemic Sound, which is a royalty-free subscription for music that we use in our videos. And that's 14 US dollars per month. So in total we paid 127 US for Epidemic Sound and we paid 530 US for Premiere Cloud. And I'm super happy to say that our total income from Patreon has been $716, which means that we cover all our monthly fees with the money we get from Patreon. So huge thank you to you guys, you are awesome. Steffi is packing everything inside, so I decided to sneak out here and shoot a video instead, because that's a lot more fun. Uh, we put in a lot of work in these videos. We make it because we think it's fun and we love making the videos. But if you w would like to help us pay for the videos and the, the costs we have relating to the videos, we really appreciate it if you do and you can do it through our Patreon page. Check out the link below to read more. There's different reward levels depending on how much you support us with. But the pledge is per video and remember to set a maximum. So if we go on an upload spree, you don't have to pay for it. So set a maximum that you want to pay for each month and then how much you want to pay for each video. We've had some other costs relating to the vlog as well. So we had to buy a new GoPro which cost us $647 and we had to buy some miscellaneous camera stuff like uh, memory cards, microphones, uh, cables, stuff like that that we needed and that's been about 300 US. So there are quite a lot of costs relating to keeping the, these videos coming and uh, if you want to support us, do so through our Patreon page. It's very much appreciated. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you want to, just leave us a comment. And because uh, we love hearing what you think. And we, it really gives us a lot of feedback. And we, we grow as filmmakers. Yeah, have a good one.